So the blind had lost all tension in it when it was up. So it was all really puffy um, and hanging out of the window. So I've taken it down. Basically to take it down, what you have to do is, because it was in place, I basically unscrewed the side runners, the metal ones, and then just touched a little clip, a black clip of the top section, and that takes it down. And then once you've got it all apart, you need to take off the uh, sides. There's some little clips on there on the back, and it'll all come apart, and then you can unroll it. And you're going to want to take the sides off, those black ends. And then what you're going to find is at the end, you need to put the tension in the spring back into the end. So how do we do that? Well, initially I was just turning and turning and turning and nothing was happening. So if you pull one end actually out, what I found was this end part here has got some threads on here to take the spring and it completely just come away. And whether that was me turning it the wrong way, I don't know when I was just trying to add tension to it but basically you need to screw those in put them back into the threads on this end so it holds it and then what you can do is you can basically just wind the spring up um, slide it back in and then just hold one end or actually slide it probably slide it back in and then start turning and it should hold it but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roll the blind back up um, before I do that bit otherwise I'm going to find it impossible to hold this end otherwise it will just unwind itself um, before I get that tension back in and build the whole unit back up again. So I've slid the end um, back in and as you can see here here's the end uh, metal part. Now if I turn that it's being held itself inside so if I turn that I can feel this tension being added to that spring inside and if you let go, it'll just unwind itself, basically. You can hear the spring inside. So I am rolling that clockwise. Okay, I'm rolling that clockwise as it lays with the silver foil on this one upwards. You can hear that. What I've actually done now is, um, these two plastic ends are different. One's got a um, circular part that just put, just, you just slot on the other end um, but this end's got the actual uh, lozenge rectangular part now instead of doing it with a pair of kind of pliers and trying to hold it and spin it I'm actually with one hand I'm kind of keeping the uh, blind itself away and I'm actually slotted it on the end and I'm actually just going to turn it and turn it and turn it to get tension back into it um, and then I'm going to rebuild the back so I'm just turning this, turning and turning and turning it like that, uh, clockwise. Oh, there you go, just come off and you heard the spring and release all the tension. So I'm just going to do that again because I'm doing this one-handed. So this is it put back together. I had to hold one end with a hand always on the sprung side so it didn't release the spring whilst putting... Um, the other black, um, the other end slot in as well here by pushing that in so then it held it but then I put the black cover on last um, which was a little bit strenuous but possibly I could have done the black cover um, at the same time or first really but I've let go of it, tension's still in it and it's all back together so it's just a matter of putting it up now to see if there's enough tension in it I've put it back up uh, initially when I was before I put the side um, runner parts in I didn't think there was enough tension in it I gave it 12 turns but we'll see in a minute it might need more quite surprised actually that the um, it's not too bad with 12 turns of tension I don't know if you're supposed to give it more because this one this older model it's got the batteries in the uh, underneath part, which obviously four uh, D batteries add a lot of weight to it. So I thought it was going to be pulling itself down, but 
Seems like it's okay. I'm just going to let it run to the bottom now. And all the way back up. That's when you know if you've got problems. Because you don't want too much tension, otherwise the batteries are going to do a lot more work coming down. These aren't the newest of batteries, I must admit. So now I'm just going to finish off by putting the rest of the screws in back into the side runners and then we're done.